uh, Johan and Morag. They're from South Africa, but now living in Aberdeen, and they've found their way over to uh, Durness and the wind which has been blowing all afternoon since I've been here has now subsided and out have come the midges and I've had to don my uh, net that I got down at Milngai in 2012 and we're trying Johan's stoking up the fire to produce some smoke to try and uh, ward them off but uh, Time is 7.39 on 25 August. All packed up now and about to head off. I'll go down to Keeldale where the jetty is and inquire about getting across the Kyla Durness and through the military range. There's exercises going on today from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock this afternoon. But they do allow the minibus through at 9.30 and at 12.30. So it's about £7 for the minibus. Otherwise could probably get through after the exercises cease at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Won't know until we get to Key or Dale as to what my options are. been nice sunrise temperature last night in the tent was about 14 degrees Celsius so not cold not not as nice as sunny as it was yesterday afternoon showers are supposed to be forecast this afternoon At the jetty awaiting ferry across the Kyle of Durness. I saw it so many times in movies and I was thinking, ah, they are children on TV and I got to play. This is so. It's a short crossing costing £4.50, but the ferry had to make several trips to take all the passengers across. Across the other side, two minibuses took the bulk of the passengers through the military firing range to Cape Wrath Lighthouse. Pavlina from the Czech Republic was also on the ferry and in the final stages of her two week trip around northwest Scotland. She had almost identical plan to myself, which was to visit Kiersveg Boffy then Cape Wrath Lighthouse and finally to cross the moorland to Sandwood Bay and exit via Kinloch Burvey. She had deadline that she had to be back in Glasgow on Wednesday. Fortunately for us the military were occupied elsewhere and the road through the firing range was open to all traffic. The road through the firing range was easy going, although uphill most of the way. Pavlina had poor fitting boots and by this stage of her trip had quite a few blisters on her feet and she did this section of the walk wearing a pair of sandals. The weather was near perfect and we had no regrets in walking through the firing range while those others were in the bus. Well, what could be said about Kiersveg? In my opinion, it's as close to paradise as that I can imagine. The buildings apparently owned by the Ministry of Defence but looked after by the Mountain Boffy Association. It's one of the best boffies that I've experienced and certainly 
Not many of the others that I visited during my Scottish trip came close to being as homely as this place. With such wonderful weather, there's only one place to go and that's to the beach. I went exploring and had a swim in the lock behind the beach. The warm water of the lock was much more inviting than the cold sea water. is blunt. <laughs> right now collect our wood and we'll light a token fire. Okay. <laughs> Maybe some more cardboard. One piece of wood and light. Oh, is that carpet? Well, we'll just put some of the dried heather on the fire and that's uh, come to light. Yeah, I suppose if you have a drought here, you, it becomes quite a fire hazard. Well, we'll leave the 34 people from the, uh, what was it, the farm? camp, charity, whatever, something like that. They've been out in the Scottish Highlands for two weeks now. There's 12 staff and the remainder is young children. They've had one helicopter rescue and their last day today they're going to the ferry and being picked up then we're off Pravina and myself we're off to the lighthouse <laughs> we've got we need to get this a dream that they'll have a nice Devonshire tea there waiting but who knows and then south to Sandwood Bay a little bit of rain earlier but at the moment not raining Got a little bit of a hill to climb, so I promise maybe still going to be fine weather. Oops. Magic. <laughs> don't want to leave. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> this, looks, this looks brighter too than it did earlier. Yeah.
beach, isn't it? Yes, that's yeah. where we uh, came. So we're just deliberating that if we cross the lagoon, it was low tide, we could have cut straight across and avoided the big dog leg that we've done coming on the road. But the rain's gone for the time being, the sun's out, and we've been a wonderful time. Then what will I do? I, <laughs> then I will disappear. 